Ci troviamo a Detroit, negli Stati Uniti. Questa città è... We are in Detroit, in the United States. This city is known as the automobile capital of the US, and Ilmore is a manufacturer of very special engines. Perché speciale? Special because of its history. We were founded as a racing company in 1984, um, based in England, and um, we raced our first IndyCar race at the end of 1986. We won our first race with Mario Andretti driving in 1987 in Long Beach, and, uh, and we've, we've been in racing ever since. Um, we've never stopped. Um, we've won many, many championships, over 300 IndyCar races, 20 Indy 500s. We've won in powerboat racing, Trans Am racing, NASCAR, Formula One, um, and the list goes on and on and on. As an engineering company, we're often approached by different um, manufacturers that want uh, to take on a very specific uh, engineering task or racing task and, and um, because we've been in the industry for such a long time we we're obviously have a, a good reputation and so they come to us to help design and manufacture engines um, for very specific racing purposes. I'd love to say that uh, we can win every weekend, but at least we try to go to every race with a chance to win. And, uh, um, but you can't do it without great people and great partners. That's the, the key to success in any of our racing efforts has always been to have fantastic people and fantastic partners. And, and that's, that's how you succeed as a, as a total team effort. In about 2000, 2001, um, we made the conscious decision to start expanding beyond just racing and particularly in North America and, um, and that, that meant that we had to um, go into areas that we understood and we obviously understood racing. So we had the opportunity to enter both in the US based powerboat racing series but then a little bit later through a series of good fortunate events we ended up racing in, in P1 in Europe. Um, and won two consecutive world championships there. We won several world championships in North America as well. Um, and uh, our, our powerboat racing successes really led us then to getting more deeply involved in the marine industry. It wasn't a deliberate path for us, the racing side was, but to get into the recreational side, again, was more fortuitous and, and we saw an opportunity and seized it, um, which has led us to where we are today. It is the rigor in the design and construction that has led Ilmore to achieve winning engines in car racing. And today, we can also find those engines in boats. So this engine is actually as sophisticated as it is, and obviously is built for a very special purpose, is really not that dissimilar in its architecture to a modern boat engine. I mean, for example, this engine has direct fuel injection, exactly the same as our latest generations of uh, marine engines do. It, it runs with ethanol fuel. Again, we're using a lot of ethanol fuels in the boat engines nowadays, um, and it's ev likely to get uh, ever uh, increase on a continuous basis, the amount of ethanol that gets, that gets burned. Um, and um, the technology that we use in these engines for durability, to, to withstand the pressures, all of that, that testing, we can use the, the similar style of testing for our marine engines. And so a lot of the engineers that actually work on the race engines are helping us develop the marine engines as well. And so we, you know, we, we continuously use our engineering resources across all platforms to make sure that, that we don't lose any of the uh, future thinking that, that, we, that we apply to racing. If it could be applied to a boat engine, even one that, that uh, is only used for recreational water sports, um, you know, we're going to use that technology where we can. All Ilmore engines intended for boats are tested one by one at the test bench, even under more severe conditions than those with which they experience during navigation. Every time an engine is built, and you saw how clean the engine shop was, um, it, it has to go through a, a test. Um, no engine ever is 
built at Ilmore that doesn't get tested. Not here, not at our marine assembly plant in North Carolina, um, not at our facility in the UK. Every single engine is always tested as a quality check before it goes out the door. Um, we test about 500 engines a year on our four dyno test cells that we have here um, um, to ensure that the quality is, is absolutely where it should be. Nel 2015, Ilmor entra nelle Arca Racing Series. In 2015, Ilmor entered the Arca Racing Series, and since then has won all the pole and all the races with this engine. A 6.5 litre V8 with a 650 horsepower minimum. It is the same block that is also used in the marine industry. Our racing, marine racing business, obviously put us a little bit on the marine map, and we. we as we learned more and more about the marine industry, we realized it was going to be an excellent place for us to, to grow a business. We started to look beyond racing into high performance engines purely for uh, recreational purposes. And uh, we were able to partner with Dodge at the time and we marinized the Dodge Viper V10 engine, which is a completely unique piece in the marine industry. And, and, and from there, we just continued to walk slowly forward into the marine space and found a, a great opportunity with Mastercraft and became their sole supplier. Special engines require special components. This is the raw piece. This is the finished one. But I cannot let you see all of it. There are some secrets. Yeah, the, the, the racing world has taught us that quality is everything. You can't win a race if it doesn't finish the race. And, and, uh, and so you're continuously looking for ways to improve, to push the engines harder, but to improve the product at all times. And um, in racing, very often times, we are the manufacturer of all the parts and pieces. But once you get beyond racing into a more commercial world, you need strong strategic partners. Typically speaking, we gravitate towards excellent engineering companies as well, and ZF is, is clearly a, a partner that, that we've enjoyed a relationship ever since we started in the tow sports arena. Um, and our, our engineering teams and ZF's engineering teams meet uh, continuously. We, we talk on the phone a lot. We have face-to-face -face meetings here and in, in the US and in Europe uh, on, on an annual basis um, to ensure that we get the best quality. In the same way that we, we, Ilmore, work closely with our suppliers, we of course are a supplier to the various OEM boat manufacturers and um, if we take Mastercraft as an example, they have an incredibly rigorous um, boat design, boat test, um, boat build uh, process. And so our engineering team meets with their engineering team long before we ever have any hardware to discuss. And, and so we start discussing how we're going to introduce a, a new product or a new, new idea. Even a, a small change to an existing product goes through this same rigorous process of making sure that it's going to be good. I know we are from the boat show, but we couldn't lose this fantastic automotive story. Now we move to North Carolina, where we will see the Ilmore engine production for the boating industry. In the 20s, during the era of American Prohibition, those carrying alcohol violated the law and therefore had to have faster cars than those of the police which is why the development of engines was born here. Today, 100 years later, the story continues with the production of ever faster cars and engines. We are in Mooresville, North Carolina. Here, the NASCAR races were born and here all of the main teams involved in the American car races. And here, there is also the Ilmore Marine Engine Factory. In 
In uh, questa fabbrica di circa 5.000 metri quadrati ogni giorno... In this factory of about 5,000 square meters, 20 engines are produced every day, starting from the GM blocks of 5.7, 6, 6.2 and 7.4 liters, to which 250 components are added, and all the treatments for the marinization. But how many engines has Ilmor built to date? 19,798. The engines come from General Motors in the racks like you see them. And we disassemble those in the racks and put them on our own carriers. And the first activity that we do is what we affectionately call pre-paint. So they go into the pre-paint assembly and start putting some of the hardware items on. The most important to ZF is the bell housing and the transmission. So that, this is where that get, gets assembled and gets started. To transfer the engine power and to move the boat back and forth, another component is required, the transmission. Ilmor and Mastercraft use exclusively ZF Marine transmissions, built in Italy, in Padua. We are now in the assembly area of pre-paint, and we have the General Motors 5.7 liter long block that we're starting to build up uh, through the marinization process, adding 250 components to the long block. And as you can see here, we just started putting the ZF transmission on the uh, engine itself. This is the third stage. All the engines are stage for their paint application. You can see the paint hangers are on them. They're all masked, clean, ready to go through the paint system with every component that needs to be coated as an assembly. So we have the ZF transmission on it complete. So everything is masked, everything is sealed. So they're waterproof, if you will, and uh, certainly brine proof. That's most important. So. Right now we're standing by one of the 5.7 complete assembly engines that we have, 5.7 liter. It's 330 plus horsepower. It uh, is one of the uh, featured engines in our lineup. The emission side of things, you'll notice we have a five star emissions. We are the only manufacturer in the marine industry that has that Chevron. And it's very, very important in the wake surfing and, and wake boarding community because when you put your 12 year old child behind that boat at 12 or 14 feet, they're not ingesting CO, that's very, very important. So it, it's very clean and it's uh, one of the cleanest in the industry. Throughout the facility you'll notice every associate here is lean trained, one piece foe trained, at, in, at the top of their efficiency, they're all cross-trained in every application so that we can gang up an area if we need to. Uh, they're very, very efficient. We have 5S all of their tools. We have included tablets for every associate so we have constant communication. They're back-checked at each station. The next station in assembly is their customer. Hot test is 100% everybody's customer and we use that as constant feedback for retraining or whatever we need to do. You'll notice everyone is in uniform. We're 29 strong, building 3,400 engines plus a year out of this facility and one shift. And uh, these, these lads and gals here are so well trained that they, they know their jobs and their adjacent jobs as they're trained for. And we have all that training matrix here, but we're very, very lean. We're very, um, I'm a black belt in lean manufacturing. All the staff are green belts. They've all been trained in lean manufacturing and we're very, very efficient. We have seen the origins of Ilmore Marine engines, how they are built, assembled, and how they were adapted to marine use. Now we just have to go and test them, but that is another story.